Today I'm about to give my dog a haircut. Uh, it's in the summer right now. I live in California, so it's pretty hot. So I thought I would go ahead and cut some of, uh, some of the hair off of her. Uh, I guess she didn't shed as fast as she could have. So I'm going to take a little bit of this hair off. What I already did, I gave her up, um, a bath, I washed her up, and right now I'm going to brush as much hair as I can with this brush, and then whatever is left, I'm gonna use my clippers to go ahead and cut it off. So, so this is the before. Let's see how much hair came off. So, take a look at this. So here's the before, and uh, I'm gonna start cutting. I'm just using some old hair clippers, and I have it on the highest setting because I don't want to take too much hair off. So, uh, let's get the cut. And I'm gonna go with the grain so it doesn't take too much hair off. And then she's gonna be lazy and lay down. Come on, get up. Another reason I brushed her was if there was any, if her hair was knotted up at all, you know, I don't want to uh, cut it and, and yank it and pull it, so I would brush, I brushed her, and then I combed her to get all of that tangled hair out. You have to pay extra attention when you go under her body because uh, it's a little, little more tender, so you don't, you want to be very careful, and you don't want to hurt your dog. What I'm doing, I'm going real long uh, passes, so it is as even as I can get it. Right now, I don't have a, a leash on my dog or a collar because I use the, the harness, or so the harness will be in my way, but that might be something that you would want to consider because you can control your dog better. She's being pretty good right now, but if she started doing a lot of moving, then I would just get the collar up. So every once in a while, I'll go ahead and stop, uh, comb it out, brush it out, whatever, and then keep cutting again. She's being a lazy dog right now. She wants to lay down. Come on. This is why you take your dog to the groomer, so they can deal with it. Lay back in all your hair. Now I gotta comb all your hair out again. What? Yeah. Again, I'm on the belly, so I'm taking a little more precaution. Now, as you might be able to tell, I'm not going for looks here. <laughs> I'm going for comfort. I just want to get this hair off of her so she's not as hot. 
you want to go for looks, either learn how to do this better or just go to a group. Another thing, I know this is, um, uh, it should be pretty obvious, but this is why I'm in the garage because I'm cutting all this hair. You don't want to do this in, in your house. But if you have to, you know, put a tarp down or something. cut too much off of her legs. I cut nothing off of the tail. So when I get done cutting and brushing I'll go ahead and give her another bath. So if there's any hair that I've missed it should uh, come out in the in the bath in her washing. You know, I'm I'm in here in the garage cutting her, and I'm sweating, and I don't have a coat on. I can imagine how she feels. Okay, I'm about to turn her around and do the other side. I should have mentioned this. These are just regular old clippers that um, I used to use for myself, but I have a different pair and I just put a guard on. These are just your regular adjustable clippers. Uh, what brand is this? Uh, I don't even know the brand name anymore, but just some regular clippers, probably a Conair, and it's adjustable and I just put the, small, uh, the lowest guard and that's what I'm using. The reason why you put a guard is so you get a uniform cut all over. Finishing up. That's the street sweeper. Making a lot of noise. So I think that's about enough of the cutting. I'm going to use the brush slash comb to get rid of any of the loose hair. Uh, well, to get rid of as much of the loose hair as I can. Then I go ahead and give her another bath and uh, you're done. So as soon as I do that, I'll show you what the after looks like. 
as you can see, um, I didn't give her a bath yet. Uh, you know what she's going to look like after she's clean. Uh, but as you can see, that's a pile of hair right there. It's a lot of hair. That's why you don't want to do this in the house. And that's why you want to do it too. That's a lot of hair to get off of you. You know, you don't want to wear a coat in, in the summer. I don't really think they do either. So as usual, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And, uh, oh, one last thing. This isn't what I do for a living, as you can tell. It probably doesn't look the best, but my goal was to just get the hair off of her. So, that being said, appreciate your time. You guys have a good one. Okay, as you can see, I am done. I just gave her a bath, and I had to give her a bath twice because she ran and got all dirty in the dirt trying to shake the water off. But besides that, uh, you can see that her coat does look uh, thinner or shorter, and she looks like a little baby again to me, even though she's nowhere near a baby. So, as usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and I'll be sure to answer them.